Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Ogre, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today we got these puppies right here, the Basis Bowie H1 Eyes. Again, the Basis um, Bowie, yes, H1 I noise cancellation wireless headphones. Music that inspires. These puppies right here will cost you... Um, on sale, $39.99, off sale, $49.99. I will consider these a budget um, pair of headsets, um, over the head headsets. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the actual details before we get into the Eagle Eye view. So, like I said, these, these will cost you $49.99 or you can probably find them on sale for $39.99. Now, no more daily charge no more, guys. These have a 600 milliamp hour battery, provides you with 100 hours of playtime. Also, this has LHDC, it's a Kodak, that means low latency, high resolution sound. Enjoy music three time, enhance exceeding expectations. Dual noise cancellation, again, dual noise cancellation, active and passive noise cancellation. Um, it reduces ambient noise by 95%. Um, 3D spatial audio and comfortable, adjustable, and uh, rotatable. And all you get all that, all that for $49.99, or if you could get on sale, $39.99. But before we get into the Eagle Eye View, guys, do me a favor. I got a lot of people that's watching. I want to ask y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. Please share subscribe to the channel just hit that little that little subscribe button and hit me a thumbs up so we can get deeper into the youtube algorithm I want to thank my new current current and new subscribers for still rocking with your boy without further ado let's get into the eagle eye view in the eagle eye view this is how the box look you know for 39.99 49.99 this is how the box look so go to there 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 so that's how the box looks. Got this on the side. That's how the box looks. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we're going to use our new unboxing knife. I don't really have to, but I'm going to use it today. I like that. Nice and smooth. Put this back so I won't cut myself. Let's get into unboxing it. All right, there's nothing else in the box, as you can see. Nothing else in the box. Put that to the side. Nothing underneath. Oh, we got the books and stuff again. Got some troll stuff in here. I don't know. I'm not going to say troll yet. Troll stickers. And we got that there. The books and stuff. Okay, we have the 35 millimeter headphone jack. This is kind of braided. Pretty decent. Braided. Thin and braided. Cool. There you go. And then we have the short um, USB A to USB C. I got so many of these now, I can sell them. Move this out the way. Let's see if we can take these out. Okay. There we go. Now, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I thought they were a little bit bigger um, on the picture, but like the cups were a little bit bigger. So. I don't like the size of the cups. I thought the cups would be a little bit bigger and stuff. Uh, but you know, for $39, $99, $50, there you go, guys. That's how it looks. Kind of like the design. Let's go ahead and take that off. There you go. That's how that looks. Okay, they're pretty decent. Pretty decent. Okay, I got, got this in the metal here. I thought that would go up and down. So this goes up and down, not this. I would have been nice if this went up and down a lot of you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Pretty good. Swivel. Okay. And then also they fold up. So they fit in your, in your bag pretty good. Now the budget, the budget arena is getting really good now one thing i do like the, about these i already have its own nfc button here turn it on it's on turn it off 
turn it on. And that's on the left side. You got the NFC on the left side. And on the right side, you have all your lights are through you. Headphone jack, 35 mm headphone jack. You have your charging port. I think that's a, um, one of these are light. One of these are the microphone for noise cancellation and f or for your, um, what is it called? Um, your microphone so you can make a call. I wouldn't make, take no calls in here unless you had to, you know, on here on the, uh, on the right ear, you have your plus minus. You have your probably play and pause right there. And that's about it. So why don't we go ahead and get to weighing it first, see how much it's going to weigh, and then go ahead and charge it up. And then after charging it up, getting paired up. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and weigh it against two other um, headphones. The first ones are going to be the Beats Pros. And you're looking at 268 grams. And then we're going to go ahead and go with the Burbies. These are another budget. You're looking at 227 grams. And you're looking at these the bases is 232 grams. And they're a little heavier than the Burbies because of the metal rods that, you know, you add metal, it adds a little bit more weight. So they're not too heavy, guys. Let's get to the rest of the video. I'm going to go ahead and use the plug that came with it. We'll put it in here. Like I said, one of them was, so you can see it's charging up. It's pretty cool. All right, so what we're going to also do real quick, I'm going to go ahead and use my big boy right here. Turn it on. As you can see, it's coming on. You can see it's 70%. See if they charge this up. And as you can see, charging it up. So what I want to do also is see how it charges up with a fast charge. As you can see, fast charging brick. There you go. It is charging up. All right. Okay, guys. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn it on. This is your on button right here. See it's flashing. So we're gonna go to the app. We're gonna go to prepare a new device. And there you go, right there. We'll hit pair. There you go. It's paired up. That's easy. All right, what we're gonna do also, guys, is go to the actual app. Let's see how it is. See if it can add a device. I agree for right now. Uh, we're not going to say no. no. Uh, uh, we'll say allow or not. So let's see if we can agree. So you have to let let it use your location, which is stupid. Let's see. Okay. So now we have it. Okay. So we add the device. I like that. Okay. It's added. So now. This is the app. You got the store, which I don't like. I don't know why they put that in there. You got my, I didn't log in. I didn't make no account. But you have that. I'm going to hit that. There you go. So I like I, I like that. Oh, new version. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. So we're going to upgrade the, um, the firmware. So let's start upgrade. I like that. See, that's what I'm talking about. Get an app. Now, the app review suck. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but as long as I can get an update. So, we're going to go ahead and let that play out. All right, guys. It took a while for it to update the um, firmware, but as you see, I'm going to put home. So, now there you go. So, you have spatial. You have low latency mode that you can turn on, turn off. Um, you have spatial you have cinematic mode so okay so you have eq you get all this classic theater hi-fi dj jazz so that is basically what most it's 90 percent charged already so that's about to go into a version so there you go guys 
That's the app. Let me show you what the app looked like. Again, this is the app right there, guys. That's how the app looks. So when you go to the app store, if you buy the buy the um headset, they go with the app look like. All right, let's get to the regular view, listen to some music, and you know, see if the um actual um active noise cancellation work as well. All right, all right, everybody, let's go ahead and listen to some music, see how it sounds, see if all the um you know, all the um, buttons on here work. So, now I do look, like the way they feel. I have put them on earlier and they feel pretty good. I wish, now I'm gonna tell you, I wish this was a little bit tighter. And the reason why, because this right here swivels a lot. And so it takes, you know, a couple of seconds to get it on your around your ears and everything just right so because this sister swivels it kind of leans back a little bit further or you have to really get it on there so 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 fit is okay i mean i i would i would rather for it to be tighter um you know it does you can't fit you right here so everything is pretty good with that okay so we're gonna go ahead and get to listen to some music this is a couple of different genres so we're going to see if the volume so let me make sure I got this right the volume uh, plus and the volume down okay now to to have the volume go up you have to to make the volume go up, you have to double tap it and the volume will go up. If you want the volume to go down, hit the um hit the volume down button and you have to double tap it to make it go down. And if you want it to go all the way down, you have to keep on double tapping it until it goes all the way up to the desire or go down to the desire. So you have to double tap. If you want to switch songs, you have to hold it, press it and hold it'll switch. You want to press it. I'm, I'm already at the first song, right? So you want to press it and hold. It'll go back and forward. So that's how you switch. You want to press, hold to, to switch. It even go forward or go backwards. The um, the up, the volume up key goes forward. The volume back key goes backwards. The pause and play button. They do work, work like it's designed. Okay, so all that works good. So let's go ahead. Now, I'm not using the app, and I'm going to tell you why, because they always ask for your location. I don't know why they need my location, but, you know, the app is good. If you want to use it, the app is pretty decent. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say it's bare bones, but it's, um, but it um but it's definitely serviceable um you can log in as a guest or you can log in you know you can put your you know and sign up um i'm just logged in as a guest but um you hit the you hit the um the actual icon for the um for the headphones you have spatial i have spatial off you have um uh, spatial acoustics and then you can also have cinema um cinema mode so what we're going to do we're not even going to mess with the eq we'll do that last but we're going to see how it sounds with the spatial the um off spatial on well it's um normal mode i'm sorry music mode please forgive me guys and cinema mode so we're going to just normal mode right now. Listen to music. See how it sounded. We're going to go through each one of those and see if there's a big difference. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you, the bass is really hitting. Now, the bass is hitting. It is hitting. Um, it sounds good. The bass is kind of, it's more bassy than, don't get me wrong, I like bass, but more, I think it's more bassy than I 
it's more basic than I would like. Um, let's go ahead to another genre real quick. Uh, let's see what I can find real quick, guys. Not sounds pretty good, guys. Um, it sounds really good. Let's um let's go ahead and switch up. Um, using the app and see does the actual spatial. How well does the spatial acoustics work? Let's go ahead and play the song. Like I said, it's heavy. When you hit on normal mode, the bass is kind of heavy. Now on EQ, it's just on the classic setting. So it comes with classic setting. So I'm going to go to spatial. It sounds pretty good. Now, when I hit it between the spatial, uh, when I hit the regular mode, the, what is it called? Um, normal mode. Um, it's normal mode. Uh, um, it's um, normal mode, music mode, and it's cinematic mode. It's pretty good. Now, they do have a low latency mode, so we're going to try that real quick, see how that doesn't make a difference in the sound. So let's go back to normal mode. It says reduce sound delay and improve audio and video synchronization. So, so it doesn't really change the sound. Uh, it's pretty good, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I would not, um, normal and, what is it called again? Normal and music mode and normal sounds to me the best. Um, the cinematic mode sounds kind of muffled to me. Um, so, and then we go into the EQ, EQ mode. Let's do the song again. Let's hit the EQ mode. So we're on classic. Let's go to theater. Okay, the EQ mode is okay. It's not the best, but it does change it a little bit. Let me go ahead and turn these off and give you my final thoughts on the buoy H1Is. First of all, let me go this way, guys. Um, as far as the um, active noise cancellation, it does work. Now, I took it in my bathroom because, you know, again, again, I tell you, I have a very loud fan in my bathroom and that fan is loud. And I went in there and it, it, it changed up a little bit, but it didn't. So I said, I know that some headphones are, you know, suited for, you know, trying to keep the environmental noise down, the whisperings and, you know, because it's noise canceling out noise. So I took it to um, the gym and just walked around the gym and I didn't play no music. 
but I just walked around with the noise cancellation on and the noise cancellation off, and it does work. Now, is it going to be Bose, you know, the Bose Q35 quiet? No. Is it going to be as aggressive as maybe the, um, the Beats Pros? No. But they're good. Um, and I love the fact that, first of all, this has an app and it comes with an on and off switch for the actual noise cancellation, um, active noise cancellation, because what it does do, it does save on battery. Now, one thing, when you have the noise active, that noise, the active noise cancellation on, so I'm getting tongue tied, what happens, guys, is that the music is going to sound a little bit muted. The bass is going to go down. And um, it's going to sound a little bit muted when you're listening to um, the music. I don't know why that is, but you could tell the difference in the bass levels and in the uh, the the song and the music that you listen to. That it's going to kind of um, me, I mean, kind of I, I want to say soften or bring down the music, but you don't hear the bass as much. You don't hear the highs and lows as much. So I don't know why it does that. So. Um, I don't, I haven't noticed that in any other, um, active Bluetooth that I have, maybe it's there. I just don't notice it or they didn't, um, got the EQ it right. Or I don't know. So I'm just saying that when you use these, you're going to get that, you know, soften up. You're going to be able to hear your music it, it, it can get loud, but you're going to be, oh, it sounds a little different. Okay. Um, so the actual active noise cancellation work, I went to the gym, walked around, people talking, turned it, I had it off. Then when I turned it on, it became about 55% less noisy. The people whispering, I couldn't hear them. People talking, I really couldn't hear them. You know, now the closer I got to them, you can hear them because it's not going to cancel out every conversation, everything, but it does work. Um, I give the noise cancellation about a C plus I'll uh, give it a C plus because it's not too aggressive. Um, but for thirty nine ninety nine for forty nine ninety nine regular price, you know, you're not going to get the most, the, 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 the latest technology of, um, active noise cancellation, but for the price point, they work really well. Now listen to the music. The music sounds really good. Um, now I don't know if I'll say it sounds as good as these or my other ones, but they do sound good. Now I do like to build quality quality on these better, um, but I think these have a, a little bit of more of a richer sound. Um, the highs and lows, and it's not too bassy. Don't get me wrong, I love some bass, but these are very bassy. So if you love some bass, they come out the box with some bass on it. Um, so just let you know, it's really bassy, but it's not bad where it sounded distorted you know, it has that punch. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, so to me, the listening to music is, is good. It's, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's fair to Midland. Um, they sound good. That's all I can say. Sound good. Cause I, because I'm, I'm, I'm not an audiophile head to the point where I can say, Oh, that, the highs, the highs were there. I can hear the, I hear the singing clearly, hear the music in the back, hear the music clearly. The bass is kicking, like I said before. So I think the music aspect was, was, was good. Um, I really did like the, what I was hearing. Now I did accept the call. My daughter called me. She's like, dad, uh, can you take me, uh, to work? And I answered the call. And I don't like talking with these guys. I really don't because normally they tell you great call quality. And no, it's not. It is, no, it's not. You know, people can hear everything around you because it's basically having a speaker phone but just attached to your ear. To your ear, you can hear them, but they can hear everything around you. So I wouldn't, you know, unless you had to talk to somebody with this, uh, I wouldn't do it. So I don't really test calls no more with them. But overall, I give these a B minus. Um, I give them a B minus. I think for thirty nine ninety nine, if you can find the basis buoy H one I for thirty nine ninety nine, that's a good price. Forty nine ninety nine is still a good price. Um, again, you lose them, you can replace them. You know, somebody you know go you know you turn your head and somebody walk off with them. They're not walking off with a thousand pair, a thousand dollar pair. Two three hundred dollar pair. They're walking away with a thirty nine dollar pair where I can go back back on Amazon and um 
damn, order me another pair. Um, they're budget friendly, guys. Like I said, when you're in the budget range, which this is the budget range, you're not going to get, you know, the, the build quality is okay. It's plastic with a little bit of metal right here. But, you know, I, I think it looks better than these. You know, say so all this is all plastic. And, you know, it, it's just, even though these are really good, but, you know, you got a little bit better. With this, I like this a little bit better in, in the looks department. Matter of fact, I like it a lot better than look in the looks department. So I, I give it, I give the whole package deal. I give it a B minus, guys. It's budget friendly. It doesn't sound like crap. The active noise cancellation work. The battery hour is a hundred hours of battery life. So you know what I'm saying. So you got a long time. You'll have to um, charge it up every day. You know, unless you use it a lot. So. I'm going to give these a B minus, guys, a B minus. I think this is a good deal. I'm going to put it in the description if you just need a pair or your child. Listen to me. Dog. You, know, you don't have to buy your kids no Beats or no, no Q or Sony's. And, you know, you know they just need a decent pair. Man, you can get them these right here, $39.99. If they lose them, break them, you don't have to worry about them. Make them do some chores. Make them do some chores so they can get a new pair. So, guys, just want to thank everybody, my new, current, current, and new subscriber for still rocking with your boys. Do me a favor, God. Please. I got, I'm got. i looking at my analytics, and they say that, you know, a, a, a lot of people, 72% of people are watching, but they're, they're not they're not subscribed. So, do me a favor. Please subscribe to the channel so we can grow this unboxing community, guys. So, we can grow this unboxing community. So, do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this unboxing community. Yet again, this is your boy, The Ghetto Ogre, a.k.a. Pastor Tech. Thank you for rocking out with me on another unboxing video. Guys, just hit the notification bell. Hit that little bell for notification so you can be notified anytime we drop a brand new video. You have a good day. See you soon.